Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Capital Markets Investor Relations in two minutes or less. Today we're going to talk about what is a SPAC. And a SPAC stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Corporation. And there's traditionally two ways you can take a company public, either through a SPAC, which is rather simple and less invasive, or a initial public offering, IPO, which is much more involved and more rigorous. So let's ask, what can baseball teach us about SPACs? So and let's consider three players. Brian Taylor, Todd Van Poppel, and Ken Griffey Jr. And the key denominator of these three players is they all had significant upside potential. Now, the first two players' careers began and ended with that upside potential, whereas Ken Griffey Jr. was an irrefutable five-tool player. And it's this five-tool versus upside potential motif is what you need to do to apply to companies that are going through a SPAC or an IPO. And think of it this way. A SPAC is all about upside potential. They're under provision. They don't have the right people in place, the right tools, the right systems. They go through a less rigorous process and there's no public company experience amongst the employee base. Whereas an IPO is more of that five tool player. The business is more fully baked. There's people with public company experience who are coming to that IPO and investment bankers have vetted the business. So ultimately the people processes and systems are more fully baked and ready for a public company environment. And ultimately, when you're considering SPACs or IPOs, this is the lens you need to think about. Do you have a true underlying business or do you have just an idea? And this is why we've got so much carnage in the SPAC world today, is there are too many companies that were just a great idea and they're now scrambling and searching for funding as you would if you were a private company. So. Make sure your, your business is fully baked if you want to do an IPO or a SPAC before you go through with the process. Always here to help. Thanks for watching.